What is something that is universally a dick move? Blocking a doorway or a path so someone has to try squeeze past. It's not a power move it just makes them look like a dick. This happens so often. I can't stand people who do this. They have a chat, or answer a call in a doorway, or in the middle of a busy sidewalk or exit. What you are doing is not urgent, and doesn't require the flow of pedestrians to be stopped. Just go to the side. Making plans with someone and then telling them you can't make it 30 minutes after the agreed upon time. Or waiting until they check in to confirm time or place to tell them you found out 3 days ago you couldn't make it. Like were you just not going to tell me or? Uck, yes. I will never hold it against someone for not wanting to hang out, even if the reason is just I don't feel like it. But if you say you're going to come, effing come. Or at least let me know beforehand. You have your turn signal on in a crowded parking lot, indicating that you're about to take an open parking space. But before you can pull in, a driver coming in the opposite direction, without blinkers on, pulls in ahead of you, denying you the space and aggressively taking it for himself. I'm not sure the word for it, but doing that thing where people always invalidate your feelings by one-upping with their own. Like, you think your job is stressful? Try having my job. You're proud of something your kid did today? My kid did something even better last year. You're not feeling well? Well I've been sick for weeks and haven't taken a single day off. This is my dad's favorite thing to do. I don't really like him for that reason, because when you're an unsure teen, you'd like reassurance, not an answer that makes you feel like you're not taken seriously. Trying to squeeze in behind a merging car and screwing up the zipper formation while merging. Also those idiots who drive in the shoulder of the road when traffic is congested or stopped. Being nonchalant, or putting down somebody who excitedly tells you about their accomplishment, or work, or whatever. These people claim to be brutally honest, but they're just assholes. Leaving a shopping cart in a parking space. Especially when the shopping cart thing, I honestly don't know what it's called, is right there. You people couldn't walk an extra few feet? Oh you're gonna love the cart knock series on YouTube. Some guy goes around with a camera calling out lazy bones who don't return their carts. Treating waiters or waitresses like shit. It's a good judge of character. If you're with someone who treats them badly, you know that they only respect you because of your money or job. And would treat you just as badly if you were the waiter or waitress. At the restaurant I work in, we actually have a decor sign that says, if they're nice to you, but rude to the waiter, they're not a nice person. We had two rude Karens in one day who read the sign, and I heard one of them say, why should I be nice to them if they're only waiters? They don't deserve it. And I had to walk away. Whistling to retail workers to get their attention. We have an older guy that does this and thinks it's hilarious. I absolutely refuse to serve him, and my co-worker has gone off about it before. Like seriously, we're not your dogs. Sending dick pics not asked for. If only we could automatically know their mother's numbers so we could show them this is what your idiot son is doing. The instant one makes a grinder account, before you even have a profile photo, you laugh and get waves of dick pics from every age of man you can imagine. I still shiver thinking about some of them. Making your friends look bad just so you can look cool in front of girls. Not cleaning up your stuff after eating at a fast food place. But it's their job. It's just a shitty thing to do. Parking in a handicap spot because you will only be a minute. I saw a car with no tag parked in a handicap spot once. And then a handicapped guy just straight parked behind him, got himself and his chair out, and proceeded to go about his shopping. I waited for the other guy to come out so I could see his reaction. He just walked around confused like he didn't know what was going on. Swearing under his breath. I laughed my ass off. I could taste the justice. Ghosting someone in a relationship. Completely agree. It's not that hard to let them down fairly and respectfully, and doesn't completely wreck their emotions. Leaving your dog's shit on the ground and not picking it up with a bag. Going to a house party with no alcohol of your own and just picking up a can without asking, you people know who you are. Talking on speakerphone in a very public place. 
passing the entire line of cars waiting on the off-ramp in traffic and then dipping in at the last second. Announcing anything at a wedding that isn't your own. No engagements, or proposals, or baby announcements, this isn't the time. Asking someone who is not talking in a group conversation, why are you so quiet? Blaming low-ranking employees for issues that are far above their control. For the last time, I know that you don't want to pay almost $20 for your popcorn and drink, but I've heard the exact same comment from everyone else I've served today, and telling me it's outrageous isn't going to solve anything. A person that gets in the 12 items or less lying with a cart full of groceries. And worse when the cashier refuses to enforce it. I would have no problem telling them they are in the wrong line loudly. Being in a group project and doing so little that eventually only one person is doing all of the work. Telling someone that their sadness is invalid by saying other people have it way worse. Do you agree that these are universally dick moves? What do you think is a dick move? Let us know in the comments below. And be sure to like, and subscribe to Left on Reddit for our latest videos.